Welcome to CAP, the Clinical Information Access Portal. In this video, we will look at combining search terms with Boolean operators. You have a patient with type 2 diabetes who is concerned about the potential complications. A colleague mentions that he has read something indicating that blood pressure lowering medications might prevent some of the complications. He thinks this is distinct from the use of these medications to treat hypertension in diabetic patients. So, you decide to conduct a search to see what evidence there is for this and start with defining the PICO concepts. P, or population, is patients with type 2 diabetes. I, or intervention, is blood pressure lowering medications. C, or comparison, would be the usual treatment or no treatment. And O, or outcome, is the prevention of diabetes complications. This question doesn't have a clear comparator, so you decide to ignore the C. Your clinical question could be stated as, in patients with type 2 diabetes, does blood pressure lowering medication reduce the development or severity of diabetic complications? Let's start with the P, or population part of our PICO question. Enter diabetes into the search box. First, make sure the map term to subject heading box is ticked. Then click search. See how Medline has mapped our term diabetes? Notice that there is a term diabetes complications. It might be useful later in our search. Diabetes mellitus type 2 is the best match for our clinical query, since that is the type of diabetes our patient has. Select the term by ticking the box next to Diabetes Mellitus Type 2 and then click on the hyperlink term to see where Diabetes Mellitus Type 2 sits in the mesh tree. In the tree, you can see that Diabetes Mellitus Type 2 has a plus sign next to it. This indicates that there are more specific terms indexed under Diabetes Mellitus Type 2. Click the plus sign to expand the display. The only term indexed under diabetes mellitus type 2 is a term that is not relevant to us. So, we decide not to explore diabetes mellitus type 2. Scroll up to the top of the page and click continue. This is a display of all the allowable subheadings for diabetes mellitus type 2. If we tick any of the boxes next to a subheading, Medline will only search for articles with both diabetes mellitus type 2 and those subheadings. It is too early to restrict our search with subheadings, so tick the box to include all subheadings at the top of the page and press continue. Note that if you do not select any subheadings, Ovid will automatically search all of them. Try this later for yourself. You will get exactly the same number of results with the include all subheadings, box ticked or unticked. Next, we need to add the I or intervention part of our PICO question. Enter blood pressure lowering medication into the search box and click search. Medline has mapped the keyword phrase we entered, blood pressure lowering medication, to the MeSH term, antihypertensive agents. We need to be sure that this is the right term for our search. So, click on the blue eye icon to view the scope notes for antihypertensive agents. The scope of this term shows that it covers the concept we want to search. It also mentions more specific terms under scope and C related that we might want to consider using later in the search. Click on previous page rather than your browser's back button to return to the mapping display. Using the back button can sometimes terminate your search. In a long and complicated search, it can be very annoying. Click on antihypertensive agents to view the mesh tree. This is the tree display for antihypertensive agents. Notice that another heading is indented below, drug terms, with a plus sign beside it. Click on the plus sign to view these other terms. Some of these more specific terms might be relevant to us. However, because we want to keep our search as broad as possible at the moment, we want to include them. Scroll to the top of the page to identify the explode box. Explode is the first column of tick boxes to the right of the mesh tree heading list. Place a tick in the explode box on the 
Antihypertensive Agents line and click Continue at the top of the page. At the moment, we will include all the subheadings for Antihypertensive Agents, so click Continue. We don't have a comparator for this question, so let's add the next part of our PICO question. The O, or the outcome we are interested in, is prevention of diabetes complications. We noticed earlier that Medline has a mesh term, diabetes complications, so we will enter that in the search box. Click on the I icon to view the scope notes for diabetes complications. It appears to cover the topic that we are interested in, but the note tells us that this is only a general term and the preferred way to search is to use the term for the specific type of diabetes with the subheading for complications and the term for complication. It also says the term was introduced in 2005, but doesn't say we need to use the older terminology to search prior to that. So the scope note has given us useful information on how to search more precisely. We will use diabetes complications for now, but if the results are not useful, we may have to use terms for the specific complications we wish to prevent. Click the previous page button to return to the mapping display and click on diabetes complications to go to the mesh tree. We can see from the tree display that there are several more specific terms indented below and to the right of diabetes complications. Click on the plus sign beside each of these subterms to expand the display. Most of the more specific terms look relevant, so we will explode diabetes complications to include them more, then click continue. Later, we may decide to select specific complications to narrow our search. As before, we won't choose subheadings yet. Click continue. We want to find articles which contain all three of our search terms, so we will use the Boolean and to combine them. Tick the box beside each search term. Then click on the and button and press search or simply press enter on your keyboard. Notice how the database has numbered each of our search terms and how it has translated the process of combining the terms as one and two and three. You can type one and two and three directly into the search box and it will have the same effect as using the tick boxes and the and button. There will be the same number of results whichever way we perform the process of combining these terms. Where we have included all subheadings, Ovid has added a forward slash after the mesh term. When we exploded diabetes complications, Ovid wrote, EXP diabetes complications slash. If we know the appropriate mesh terms, we can type these commands directly into the search box and avoid having to go through the mapping display. Notice also how adding an extra line to the search has pushed our first search term off the screen. We can expand the search history to reveal all our search terms by clicking on expand near the top right of the screen. We don't need two identical search lines combining the search terms, so we will select one by ticking the box next to search number four and then clicking the remove button. Look at the number on the right of the final search line. Combining our terms produced 984 results. Since we don't want to work through that many results, we need to think of ways to narrow the results to a more useful number. One way we can narrow our search results is via subheadings. First, let's look at what subheadings we could use with the mesh term diabetes complications. A couple of headings look promising. We can check what each subheading means by clicking the blue I icon next to it. Let's check the scope notes for the subheadings drug therapy and prevention and control. Drug therapy might be useful, but we are not interested in the treatment of diabetes complications. However, prevention and control should help narrow our search in a useful way. Remember to use the continue button rather than the browser's back button to return to the previous page. Click on the box besides prevention and control to select it, then click continue. This has reduced the number of results for diabetes complications tenfold. 
let's use Boolean operators to combine this new search line with the previous searches. Type 1 and 2 and 5 into the search box and click search. Using the subheading prevention and control has reduced our results from 984 to 313. Notice also that our search history has stayed expanded and continues to show the complete search history. However, 313 results may still be too many. To narrow it further, we could select specific types of complications, such as cardiovascular complications, or we could add subheadings to diabetes as suggested earlier in the scope notes. After entering diabetes mellitus type 2, we are brought to the mapping display. This time we are going to select focus. What focus does is restrict your results to only those where that term is one of the three to five main concepts of the article. At the subheading display, we are going to select complications. We don't want to select prevention and control here because we are not interested in the prevention of type two diabetes, but in the prevention of its complications. Click continue. Notice how much applying focus and complications to diabetes mellitus type 2 has reduced the number of results. Let's see what difference this makes to the number of results. Let's combine search terms 2, 5 and 7. There are now 109 results, a much more manageable number. Scroll down to the results display to see if they are on topic. The first few results look interesting. Number one and three appear to be on topic, but it's hard to tell from the title alone if number two is relevant. There is no abstract. We could check the full text, but there's another way to check the relevance of a result. Click on the complete reference link on the right hand side of the screen. The complete reference shows how Medline indexed the article. Notice the terms with the asterisks before them. These are the focus terms for that article. They show that it is about the use of antihypertensive agents as well as type 2 diabetes complications and prevention and control of diabetic angiopathies. So this article is probably relevant for us. In this short video, we have built up our search term about our patient with diabetes mellitus type 2 and use Boolean operators to combine our search terms. In the next video, we will look at ways of limiting to narrow search results.